see how this thing works. It's getting bubbly in there. <laughs> On a good rainy day, I think it's gonna work really well. This is something fun. It's a little more fun than a lot of other public art, I guess, but Goofy's good. <laughs> We talked about actually drilling holes in all the pipes and having them be like something kids could blow on. And I thought that sounds like something just a recipe for disaster. <laughs> so let's keep it simple. Let's just have one element that makes some sort of music or sound or something that a kid could interact with and play with. And I hope kids that, that play around this and hang out around this all the time just are constantly uh, inspired to be creative themselves because, I mean, if you do something that's just a set piece, it doesn't move, it doesn't interact with anybody in any way, it's really hard to remind kids that it's even there. They're gonna walk past it five times and forget all about it. Something that moves is just, it's a whole nother level for art, really. It was funny early on, the teachers were, are just so energetic at the school. They're just incredible teachers. They said, because uh, we said, well, you know, when the kids come out here and it's really pouring, they, they might get wet if they play with this piece. And they all kind of said, they're just gonna get wet then. <laughs> they, didn't, they just thought, this is the world we live in. It is the Northwest, it's raining during the school year. I think that's kind of nice, the attitude. To me, that's, that's what architecture should be, and art should be, it's you know, one blended world of interaction. You know, It should be about that. It should be engaging people in space and stuff.